Good afternoon, everybody. Time for another Brick Bucks update. Once again, my name is Jim, and this is where we talk about Lego investing and reselling. So before we dive into the main topic today, I, I just want to uh, cover a couple things. Uh, this right here is our Facebook uh, Brick Buck group. <laughs> it says that we're, we're at 2,000 members. We're actually not. I think we're around... 21 members shy of 2000 i think facebook just went ahead and rounded up so for those of you that have been watching for a little bit you know once we hit 2000 i will be giving away a set i've already talked about the, the set before so uh i really can't do the giveaway until we hit 2000 so if you're not a member and you want to possibly try and win a set i highly encourage you to do so uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is this right here is our Patreon channel. Uh, Shane and I made the decision that we are going to cap our Patreons uh, for the moment at 100. I think we have maybe 75 Patreons right now. And everybody on there is great. You know, we are building a really good community. But we're wanting to cap it at 100 for many reasons that, that I just uh, don't want to get into. So if you've been thinking about possibly joining our Patreon group, you may want to take advantage of that soon. There's only about uh, 25 spots left. So now we are going to dive <laughs> into these two sets. And when I say these two sets, we're, we're going to be talking about Venom and we're going to be talking about Carnage. And here's the deal, folks. These sets are cool, and there really isn't a but to it. This isn't a, a complaint about the set. This isn't anything negative. But I have yet to hear somebody talk about how horrific these sets are. I mean, these sets are horrific. I mean, this is... I would put this in the horror genre. I think this is extremely bold for lego to have these sets out and i mean they they didn't even start as you know we're gonna do a spider-man mask bust cow whatever you want to call it we're just gonna start straight out with venom and carnage i mean my kid would be terrified if i put this set in his room right before bedtime and I mean, this this lady right here, I mean, she's like, wow, this is so fun. I'm putting together this set. And you could see when she's done, she's like, wait a second, what the heck did I just create? And then she's like, you know what? I'm just going to put this in the other room and, and kind of go somewhere else. I don't want to be around. I mean, these sets are terrifying. I'm going to use the word terrifying. That's a good thing. It really is because, I mean, when was the last time you heard a, a Lego set be called terrifying, right? You really have it. So how many sets after these two are there really going to be? Now, I've never done a Marvel YouTube video. I, and I guess eventually I will. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I've, I've really been a DC person because Marvel just isn't my cup of tea. Superman, Batman, far superior than anything Marvel has. If anybody would like to explain to me why Marvel is better than DC, please feel free to put it in the comments. But anyway, <laughs> you can see right now that these sets are already uh, going above premium on eBay. And I actually think that these sets are, are low-balled. I mean, this set right here, I'm not a Marvel fan. And if I'm not a Marvel fan and I'm willing to pay, I'm willing to pay $120 for this set right now as a builder, not as somebody that, that's going to flip it. These sets are awesome. I mean, these sets are just amazing. I think they're unique. I think they're they're not one of a kind, but they're two of a kind. I've been, over the last few months, I've been really starting to come to appreciate the Star Wars theme. When you first heard me do YouTube years and years and years ago, I hardly talked about Star Wars. And I've come around to Star Wars a lot. Marvel, you know, again, I'm going to do a video about Marvel. I'm not a fan of Marvel. But these masks, these masks are amazing. And I'm just going to say it again. I, I talked about this uh, the last time I was did a video on masks. It was the Batman cow. I mean, if Lego can do this, why can't they do a hockey goalie mask? Like an NHL hockey goalie mask or a Team USA hockey goalie mask w w when it's time for the Olympics? I think those would fly off the shelves. I, I really do. So, you, you know, there is a lot of demand that will be coming for these sets. And the Carnage set is an exclusive. 
it's at Target. Now, I don't recommend anything for you to buy. I encourage you to make an informed decision. But let me tell you, these are, these right here are the Star Wars sets. I think these these two Venom and Carnage busts, cows, masks, whatever you want to call them, just blow away Star Wars. I really think they do. And, you know, the Carnage mask, it is a Target exclusive, right? So they're doing what they did with the TIE Fighter pilot. They're doing the, they're doing the same thing. So, I mean, if you are a Lego investor... I don't know how you could not walk into a Target and if you see that set, grab them all. And I'm not joking. I'm, I'm, we're going to go to the, the Excel soon. Don't worry. You know, I would be paying full price at, at this. I mean, I would wait, of course, till they have the discounts and all that other stuff. But if I saw this set on the shelf at full price and there were no discounts going on, I would still grab it and I wouldn't think twice. I already do that with the TIE Fighter pilot mask uh, for Star Wars. So, you know, I really think these sets are uh, being lowballed right here. I mean, this one went for 119 That's pretty good, I guess. But I think they knock it out of the park and they put, I mean, they put the Star Wars masks to shame. They really do. Now, I do want to, you know, bring up the spooky, if you want to call it, Lego sets. I mean, what I did was I typed... Lego Horror in, <laughs> in the Amazon search box. And when you see the search results, I mean, there's really nothing horror-like. I mean, you see some haunted houses, you see some spooky stuff, but it is nothing like Carnage and Venom. And I don't mean to keep on going back to these two, but I mean, I am blown away the, by these sets. I think these sets are winners. I think they're unique. I think they're two of a kind. And, you know, when are they going to produce something like this again? After these two, I mean, they, they may do a Spider-Man mask. They may do some other Spider-Man themed masks. Hopefully they, they won't do any more Avengers. But, I mean, this is crazy. And so here's what I did with the Excel. And I'm going to explain myself. This is, this is what I'm projecting. I am projecting that two Q4s after this set retires... You're looking at an ROI of at least 300% for Amazon. For eBay, you're looking at least 275% return on investment for eBay. Now, some of you may be out there saying to yourselves, Jim, are you serious 300%? Here's the deal, folks. You know me. I never, I always try and keep the ROIs conservative. There, there are many times after I do a video and I post it, I will have some reseller buddies, they'll see my video and they'll text me and they'll say, you know, you really were conservative on that one city set. You really were conservative on, on this set. I really think strongly that they're going to be at 300%. When you look at the Minecraft, you, you know, the Minecraft after two Q4s, they're around 300%, right? You could get a lot of Minecraft sets. That that should not be a problem. They're not exclusives to Target. They're not, you, you know, one of a kind or, or two of a kind type of sets. But the Venom and Carnage, I am super excited. I don't even like Spider-Man. I don't like Marvel. But I guarantee you, I am going to be scooping up as many sets as I possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, my friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with BrickBucks.net. Always go out there and get it.